guys, it's me, Jody from O'Neill Steels, and I'm back with another haul video for you today. This one's gonna be from the Goodwill Outlet. Uh, it is day three of my Bins Week video series that I'm doing here on my channel. Um, so I've been to the bins now three days in a row, and I'm going to be going tomorrow and Friday. So uh, you'll have a week's worth of videos to see exactly what I can buy from the bins in a week. Um, we are tightening restrictions right now for the pandemic, so I wanted to stock up on as much inventory as I possibly could, and what better place to do that than the Goodwill Bins. If you've never been there before, it's the Goodwill Outlet. It's the place where Goodwill takes things it didn't want, things they couldn't get to because they got too many donations, or things that didn't sell in their stores, and it's like a last chance spot for people to shop those items. Um, they roll everything out in these big blue bins, hence the bins, and you're able to pay by the pound. So you literally take your card up and they weigh everything and then you pay for the weight. So um, normally it's $1.59 per pound for clothing. If you get more than 50 pounds, like I did today, um, it's $1.09. So you actually save money by getting more. If you can get over 100 pounds, it's even cheaper. So uh, the more you buy, the more you save. Um, I was right at the $50 or 50 um, pound mark today. So I got the 109 price. So I paid a total of, with tax, 59.84 for everything that you're gonna see here in this video. A lot of this stuff is 15 to $20 sales. It's a lot of bread and butter. It's a lot of stuff for me to just work on well, I need something to work on, basically. Um, it's not big money makers in this video. <laughs> I have a couple of gems, but it's a lot of stuff that is just kind of, yeah, bread and butter. You, you know, it's still going to sell. It's still cute, but it's not like fabulous, amazing, like yesterday's Gucci find, you know? So um, if you are new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. About 75% of my viewers have not subscribed to my channel. So uh, thanks YouTube for telling me that. If you guys would like to be notified for when I post new videos, you can also hit that bell. And don't forget to like this video before you leave. <laughs> Without further ado, we're gonna jump right in. Um, the first thing that I got, it's probably like the most mediocre thing in the whole pile, is Old Navy. <laughs> Size large, this is a little velvet swing dress. I figured it'd be comfy for Christmas at home this year. I don't know, really simple black, like a three quarter sleeve length. This is a Vince Camuto top, size large. It's a floral print kind of sheer, but I really loved these sleeves, look at that. Once again, I didn't get a chance to sort my cart, so I did go through and look at everything. I still miss things. This is a Gap hat that has a giant hole taken out of it. That's really sad. So that's going to go in my donation bag. Um, this is a Lane Bryant top, size 26-28. It's a great size. Foxy, cropped. <laughs> um, blouse? I don't know what to call this. Like a, It's all a ponty knit, basically. This is a J. Crew, size small navy sweater with these lovely sleeves this is a 100 percent merino wool sweater look at this it's like a boiled wool texture and it kind of comes up the sleeve a little bit it's really interesting looking um this is from 2018. this is a tracex which i think is like something basics like i don't know everything you see from this brand is really like simple Size medium. It is new with the tag, which is good because it's a bodysuit. So it's a Snap Henley bodysuit. Goodwill wanted $6. Quite a bit of this stuff came from Goodwill, has Goodwill tags attached, so um, just didn't sell there. This is a little, a new day. Oh no, Universal Thread. Just Target, but it's brand new with the tag. Little gingham tank. This, I got a, quite a few like plus size, just like button ups. 
Um, you'll see some more of them, but this is one. It's a Wrangler 3XL women's plaid button up. I like to keep as much plus size in my closet as I can, but I also want it to be cute and not like grandma. I don't know <laughs> how to explain that, but yeah. This is J. Crew size extra small. Another wool blend sweater. This one's just blue. It's longer. This I'd never heard of, but I got it anyway. It's the best thing about the bins is like everything is so cheap that it doesn't really matter. Um, you can kind of try things out for the first time or things that you kind of think might be okay um, and still make plenty of money. Um, even if it's a dud and it sells for five bucks, on Poshmark you still make money with doing that. So, um, This is Carla B. I got it because it has this like Italian tag. It's this kind of older style skirt, but I was looking inside, so it is lined, with like this kind of thinner lining, but it has alpaca. So it's a size 44, 25% alpaca, 35% wool, 10% polyamide, and 40% acrylic. So it's got kind of a good blend of fabrics. So hopefully someone will want this. Like I said, it is kind of an older style, like a little bit 2000s flippy skirt, but I don't know. I'm not judging. The very torrid pants, a really nice size. These are a size 26. They are extra short though. Um, a mid rise skinny, vintage stretch. They're a button fly, which is really nice. But yeah, they're they're pretty short. <laughs> um, but a size 26, that is great. So hard to find jeans in that size. So. This is Vintage America, which I think is a little like Fred Meyer, uh, Kroger for people that are not here. Um, give a one at six bucks. I got it for not six bucks, but it's a cute little peasant top. Maybe it's all at Macy's or JCPenney or something like that. JCPenney probably. I just liked it. There's my $15, basically. Uh, Banana Republic, wool, size large, wool textured sweater. Sorry, my pile is right there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really that sorry. I just know that you'll be seeing the things. Uh, American Eagle. This is it's a size extra large, but you know, American Eagle. <laughs> it's another one of those kind of like 70s striped long sleeves like that uh, Banana Republic one I found yesterday. And it's just a ribbed, kind of a plushy knit. This is actually a really nice L.L. Bean like shirt. It's like a shacket, like a shirt jacket, you know, or swacket. I don't know what that's called. Uh, size large, I think I said that. Um, so it's like a flannelly shirt, but the inside has this really, really nice soft fur. It's perfect for layering. I don't know. I've sold, I sold an L.L. Bean pullover for $45 in like a day last week. So I'm um, hoping this does well too. I feel like some people really love L.L. Bean. Um, yeah. This is so cool. Look at this Columbia. It's a size 3T little jacket. It's so cool. I was talking with Jennifer from... Beauty and the Brown repurposed, and I sent her a picture of the stuff that I got today. And she's like, Ooh, that black and white thing. And I'm like, Yeah, look at this jacket. If I had a little girl, I would want that jacket for her. This I got because I literally have the exact same one in red already in my closet. <laughs> Michael Michael Kors, size medium. This is a pea coat. So I will get to copy the listing and just change the color to black. This is a bra. A nice big one. Um, this is from Torrid. It doesn't have too much wear, just a little bit of like pilling there. But it's a size 44 triple D. Just dang good. Push up plunge. I love selling bras. You guys know. This is a Cynthia Raleigh Women, which I think is sold like TJ's. It's not anything crazy, but it's a plus size, so 2X. And like a large 2x uh, linen blend little shirt. 
Again, $15, $20. This is a Gap. Extra large. This was at the store when I worked there. I know based on the style, I don't even have to look at this at, uh, date code. Because it's this like perforated. You're supposed to wear like a cami underneath. And it like shows through. Yeah, so it's a, a little bit of a date in style. But I'm just like attached. Uh, CJ Banks size extra large. I assume that's what X means. But I got this because it has like this cool metallic weave. And it's just a nice color palette, I guess. Like a rayon flannel. Here's another plus size. 1X plaid shirt. And another plus size button down. These are all together. Um, someone clearly donated them. 1X floral shirt. This is probably one of the best things I found, uh, which if that tells you anything. Size large meadow rue, which is anthropology. Little lace top. I might be able to get 25 to 30 for that one. Bob Ross says small painter's gonna paint a <laughs> uh, little graphic t-shirt. <laughs> this is a cloth and stone little top. It actually looks like it could be one that sold the anthropology. It's longer in the back. It's got this really cool like star kind of print. This is another CJ Banks. This one's a 3X, but it has a zip in the front. Zip flannel. This I got because I watched Nicole States, uh, one of her bins hauls, and she bought some juicy track suits, and they sold really quickly for her. Um, I threw this in my cart, hoping to find the bottoms, and I did not, but I didn't get a chance to sort, so here it is. This is a size... P, I assume, is small. Uh, coral colored track jacket. I mean, of all the colors, this is a nice one. So I'm going to try and sell just the top. We'll see how that goes. This is just a pair of Under Armour little shorts. Nice small. This, if you guys have seen my video or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll recognize this pattern. I have this exact sweater in the cardigan version. So even though it's missing the tag, I knew it was from Torrid because I wear that cardigan all the time. Um, so it's this star print pullover and I'm pretty sure it's a two or a three because it might fit me. Um, but I also recognize the inner tag um, as being Torrid. So they always put their cut dates on this tag right there. So um, I'll be able to prove it with the RN number and then just give measurements, but I'm pretty sure it's a two or a three. This brand I've never heard of before. Next, Petite. I don't know. It's cute. And I like having a mixture of sizes in my closet. You guys have seen I pick up plus, I pick up petite, I pick up talls, even though you can't list them as talls. Um, yeah, just a little sparkly. Top. This is Victoria's Secret. Right time of year for it. Size small. I need to get it listed quickly though. A little long sleeve thermal with like the red stripe down it. And it's actually plaid in the stripes. Fun. This I really like. Um, this is just American Eagle. It's even like the older tag. Well, not the oldest, but one of the older tags. Um, size medium, but it's this ribbed sweater with these embroidered, like, wider sleeves. So cool. Like, I'm, yeah, really impressed with the embroidery. So you've got, like, this plain body and then crazy sleeves. This, I had never heard of this brand. I actually looked at that before this video. Um, Enza Costa. It is sold at Shopba and Revolve and Bloomingdale's. 
Um, this is a, what I assume is cashmere sweater. No, I don't think I need to assume anything. I'm pretty sure it says that it's cashmere. Yeah, so size medium. But um, I'm still going to try and sell it, even though it has on the back a hole right there. So um, it is on the back. It's on the hem. If you tuck it in, you won't be able to see it. If you're wearing anything else over it, you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to still try and sell this. Also, it's incredibly soft and so, so comfortable, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but be on the lookout. So that's a brand that I would say you want to know. So one little bolo brand in this video for you. <laughs> and mine is damaged. This is a pair of Gabrielle Straits, size 25. Again, these were sold when I was working there. They're just a pair of straight jeans. These, I didn't realize how old they were, um, American Eagle. I These weren't buttoned, so I couldn't see the double button and like the low rise. Um, that's my own fault. <laughs> uh, but they have some little bit of stretching right here. But they're the artist crop in a size four. So they have some distressing and then they're like a little bit wider at the bottom. They're not like a skinny, they're like a straight essentially. Um, but yeah, kind of a light to medium wash. This, I actually like selling Garnet Hill. Um, I think it sells well. You can usually find the stock photos. So here's Garnet Hill. Some weird car just pulled into my driveway. Uh, size large. And it's an open front sweater with these dolman sleeves. It's just gray. It has kind of a weird texture, I will say, um, which makes me think the fabric content's weird. Oh yeah, 55% silk, which means it probably was just washed incorrectly, <laughs> which is why it feels very odd and not like as cozy as it could. This I probably shouldn't have got. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the car is distracting me. <laughs> Um, it's an eyelid dress with this like halter strap thing that you would like wear. I don't know. <laughs> or you can wear it strapless. It has buttons. You can take the strap off. But it's this eyelid dress with a zippered back. And it's from Girls from Savoy, which is an older anthropology brand. I don't think they even make this brand anymore. Size 8. So probably shouldn't have got this one. But I did, so I'll be selling it. And then I got this bass base sweater, size large. Um, it's that time of year, <laughs> pretty much. Needs a little bit of sweater shaving, but these like crazy Fair Isle knit sweaters do quite well, at least right now. So I'll pick it up. Why not? <laughs> Garnet Hill again, size four. This is actually really pretty. Um, it's a lace overlay fit and flare little dress, little like sundress. Definitely not the right season, but that's okay. It is the right season for this. Oh, this brand is nothing. Uh, listicle. <laughs> I think it's a boutique brand. Um, size so medium, but I love the texture. So this is Bockle um, knit. It's got a side seam um, slit and a step hem and these nice long sleeves. So it's a size medium. <laughs> Could probably fit me uh, up to a extra large, extra, extra large probably. So, um, but it is probably meant to be oversized worn over leggings. It's this really nice peachy color. So Someone's gonna snatch that up. I know it. This is a billabong size 14. Is it girls? I don't know. Uh, reversible little swim top. So here's the front. So it's blue and white or white and blue. I don't know. I liked it. I bought it. Y'all know how that goes. This is a men's 
merino wool sweater. <laughs> so you can have the purple one for you or for your lady. And then you can have the gray one for you or your man. Um, size large. <laughs> V-neck. You always have to be careful with these because they shrink if you don't wash them correctly. So a lot of times when I find them, they are too shrunken. Um, probably needs a little bit of pill shaving, but that's about it. Last leg. Little stack here. This is a Wallen Brothers. Wallen and Brothers. Size small. Um, sold at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, I think. Maybe It might just be at the rack. Um, button down for men. This one has a broken button. Mm -hmm. I noticed it when I was buttoning it up. But uh, I'll mention it and I'll still sell it for $15 to $20. See, it's weird because this button is also broken. But it's the opposite one than the other side. So I, it's not intentional, I don't think. But I will just mention that they're broken. It will be fine. Banana Republic, non iron. This is Banana Republic Factory. Size 2, cotton spandex, striped top. This I got because it's plus size. I like selling this brand. I know it's just Target, but for $10 to $15, okay. 4X, which is just a harder size to find. Um, comfy little long sleeves. It's got this like uh, texture but it's intentional texture. A little bit different. This, I like a lot. I don't know. Uh, Inez de la Fransage. I don't know how to say that. Paris. Extra small. And unique low. It's a, <laughs> well, the whole point is that it's a collaboration. So let's see if this is worth anything. It's a button front little shirt dress in kind of a rayon fabric. You don't know. I bought it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite plus size brands to sell. Eos, Elos, size 18. It's got this lacy bit, the little back yoke thing. And then it's just like a little peasant blouse, the keyhole front. Then I got this Angel of the North cardigan, which is the anthropology. Angel of the North. Size medium. This banded piece is just colored. I don't know if you can really even see that. Uh, I gotta treat it. I gotta stain treat it and try and get some of the yellow out because it's kind of gross. But the rest of it is fine. There's no holes or anything. So worth it for me to soak that a little bit and try and get that out. Uh, this is Woolrich, size extra large, boat neck little top, stripey, and last but not least, there were no shoes out today, which was kind of sad, um, it's this Prana top, and I've sold it before in gray, so I get to copy the listing, uh, so yeah, size medium. It's like a heathered body with these really actually quite cool, like textured graphic printed circles on it. So, yeah. Oh, and it does have this little metal thing on the back. That is it. Um, I spent $59.84 on all of that. So, uh... I'll be making my money back on that pretty quickly. Um, like I said, it's mostly $15 and $20 sales. Um, but I'm still happy with that, considering my cost of goods is definitely going to be under $2 on this one. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can know when I post new videos. Uh, if you want to catch up with me and hang out and chat, <laughs> you can definitely follow me on Instagram. Uh, my link will be down below. It's the same username as YouTube, uh, at O'Neill Steals. Other than that, I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a great day. Bye!